Here we are in episode 23 of the Simple Success Podcast. This is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. When you change you, you change everything. Last week, we talked about simple but not easy. And this week, the pod is about think and grow rich. Yeah, okay, okay. He's finally getting to the most famous book on this topic. Listen in the distance where you'll hear the faint cheers of thousands of financial book clubs. But as usual, I've got a slightly different take. So stay tuned. What is think and grow rich? Well, for most people, what comes to mind is the perennial bestseller by Napoleon Hill, written back during the Great Depression in the United States in the 1930s. You remember, back in the 20th century? Before smartphones and stuff, it was, and still is, the subject's biggest seller, one of the best-selling self-help books of all time. Napoleon Hill wrote that book while working for then-President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Hill was a speechwriter, among other things, and is responsible for that most famous line of Roosevelt's, We have nothing to fear but fear itself. Right up in the Think and Grow Rich Alley, I'd say. But it's not really about money or business. It's about lasting success. In that book, Hill makes mention of infinite intelligence, which he adeptly uses not as a person but as a substitute for God. He does this so that anyone can substitute stories about their favorite higher power, if any, because the point is to have a higher power or potential power. The point is not which higher power is chosen. But going further, the word rich does not have to mean financial wealth. It can mean that, don't misunderstand. And for many of us, it should mean that. I'm only saying that it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be a physical item. It just has to be important to us in our everyday lives. You could, for example, seek a magic formula for relationship wealth or physical wealth, usually called health. No matter what you're after, you get it, at least in part by creating a habit. Habits are created by subconscious programming. This takes a bit of knowledge and energy, or maybe just a lot of great motivational thinking. Your subconscious programming is responsible for everything you've created in your present and future life. The conscious mind won't behave in a manner that is inconsistent with how the subconscious mind operates. It's what you want it to be. All you must do is want it to be. All our beliefs, values, goals, and dreams have been programmed in the subconscious mind since birth. Subconscious programming influences our life outcomes, even if we're not consciously aware of it. Your brain responds the same way to different things. You can imagine them. They can be real. You can influence your subconscious mind through your imagination, and hence how you react and respond to your reality. Old Sub, as I like to call it, is responsible for many of your life experiences. People who reach success aren't trying to succeed any more than people who reach failure are trying to fail. They both happen automatically based on our subconscious programming. The same goes for your conscious and subconscious mind. When you engage in visualization and imagination of your definite purpose, any conversation of failure will get filtered out. And only conversations of success will move from your conscious to your subconscious. This allows you to set an intention to achieve goals related to your definite purpose. Habits you form from these will reprogram your subconscious mind so that it aligns with so that it aligns your life with your definite purpose. If you can imagine it, you can create it. Or, as I've discovered with Amazon, if you can imagine it, you can return it. Ideas, regardless of what you use them for, are products of the imagination, and man's only limitation within reason lies in his development and use of his imagination. Develop ideas and put them into action. Think and Grow Rich tells us, among other things, that the vast Coke empire grew from an idea. Spoiler alert, it was imagination. Hello everyone, this is John with the Simple Success Podcast financial life coaching from a happiness perspective because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us please head over to https whack whack anchor dot fm whack simple success that's one word simple success whack support there you can choose from a nine dollar and ninety nine cent per month doer level of support a four dollar and ninety nine cent listener level or a basic intro level of just ninety nine cents per month that's not much when you compare it to a stockbroker, right? And this is so much more sensible. To leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast, go to https whack whack anchor dot fm whack simple success. Again, one word, simple success whack message. I won't repeat those links because weird. And anyway, show notes. Once upon a time, our heroine Sophie Stevens created Spanx. No, not really. It was really a lady named Sarah Blakely. Her idea, which by all accounts was a great one, is not what we're talking about. But I got your attention, didn't I? And I did that for a reason. The reason is I'm working on an audiobook. Uh, No, no. The real reason is that Sophie was thinking, not audiobooks. Different pot. 
and thinking is the first step to growing rich, regardless of how you define rich. The real point of this popular book was not lost on our dear Sophie. The epiphany our dear Sophie had was that it truly was ideas that separated us humans from other species. We could think about things we imagine that effective people must have the ability to do. We could, we have, and we do envision the step from idea into reality, and we take that step. At least, some of us do. And Sophie was learning to be one of us. She was learning to have the right emotions, which means trying things to find out which things fit, which things we like, and even more importantly, why. Increasing the likelihood of being able to do it again and do it even more easily. Sophie finally understood that what Napoleon Hill got his subconscious to clarify by coming up with that title was this. If and when we think and we refine that into a plan of action, then take that action and I don't mean take it with a grain of salt, I mean really take it. The vast majority of us will find ourselves well on our way to our goal in whatever aspect of life we are seeking it. The simple average says so. We'll be back with our CTA, our call to action, right after the break. In this Simple Success Podcast, as well as in our webinars and masterclasses, we are very, very much going to want to hear your story. Well, to be real, I mean in future episodes of the podcast's webinars and masterclasses. This means you. Your participation is critical to our mutual simple success. It's important to know how you think, what you've thought, what you've tried, and what you've been unsure of trying. As we told you at the beginning, and as you also find in the show notes, we have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know when that happens. Together, we're going to make it great. We're going to do what even we didn't think possible. We know a lot about you already because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to our podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. The reason every podcast asks you this is because when you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. This means better rankings, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And that means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Oh, and don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. Remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Right after this, we'll explore some more important details you should know. But for now, use your imagination to help create your story. Next week, we're going to look at another concept, and that is the richest man in Babylon. That's so crazy, you know that got picked for me by my topics randomizer. It really is a coincidence that this episode and the next one are about books. I'm not prepackaging this stuff, but instead making it relevant so we can all, me included, learn how to do this right. And we're going to bring that into the world of investing. And it's going to be a great episode, but for now, remember, happy towel day. I mean, all you need to do is practice, after which you'll get good. Gracias por escuchar. A la prochaine. Credits for today's episode. Techno King, John C. Brandy, Seagull Example, Shola Salako, Fact Checker, Abraham Lincoln, French Consultant, Virginia Mitchell, Media Expert, Favor Abasi E.K., Psychologist, Sigmund Freud, Rabbit Hole Advisor, Dr. Mark Parrott, Sound Designer, Guglielmo Marconi, Spanish Consultant, Cameron J.K. Brandy, Videographer, Alfred Hitchcock, Audio Props, Les Paul, and Inspiration, Napoleon Hill, Earl Nightingale, and Bob Proctor. Look at the written show notes to subscribe, to support, or to send us a voice message.